we have packed our packs full to the absolute brim with beer, whiskey, heaps of warm clothes because as you can probably hear it's pretty stormy and there's already snow up on the tops. So I'm carrying about 55 pounds, Victoria's probably about 35 pounds, 40 pounds, which is a lot for a weight. But we've got another 500 meters or so to we're up onto the tops and it's starting to rain so better get up there quick and get set up. We'll come back to you when we're setting our base. Conditions are pretty gross up here, but we're getting pretty close to camp. But it's absolutely blowing a gale. There's a bit of snow on the ground, it's cold. So cold. Real windy. All right, we've made it to our campsite and I had to stop along the way and put my puffer jacket on because I wanted to make <laughs> sure I was warm and dry when we arrived rather than wet and cold like last time. Yeah, it's freezing and the rain's kind of coming in. It's like sleety rain and snow. But we found the spot we're going to camp, we've been here before, so we'll get all set up, get the tarp up, get the tent out, build our shelter, and then probably hunker down in the tent for a bit because the storm's Ooh. coming in. So yeah. I better get set up, I better get on with that. And uh, yeah, it's looking pretty rough. Alright guys, so we've got the tent and the tarp set up and this wind is just coming in. It's a bit of a Frankenstein set up but that's alright. Yeah, I've never really set the tarp up like this before. I've got all these extra attachment points but it seems to be alright and the wind's coming in from behind us so it should be a pretty good shelter. But we'll get all the stuff into the tent now and get all set up. But that was pretty fun. Exciting. We've got our two big green sleeping bags that zip together, so we'll be sleeping in that tonight. Super cozy. Victoria, are you excited about this? Yeah, I'm just attaching them together. Yeah, it's real cozy. I'll show you the setup. Got some whiskey for later, and I've got two premium craft beers. So I'm going to be buzzing later, ranting and raving about lots of garbage. These are going to be delicious. Birthday treat. It's not every day you're camping on your birthday. Probably just once a year for me. We've decided that we're going to go out and gather some wood now. The weather's kind of just holding off enough that we won't get soaked doing it. So we'll hold off on the cup of tea and we'll quickly scavenge for some wood. And then we'll be... Then we can get warm and dry and cozy and yeah. relax, it'll be nice. But there's like hail kind of storms coming through and then huge gusts and it kind of settles down. But the sky is looking dark out there so quickly try to get some wood. Timber! Oh, okay. 
getting windy! Was dropped. No. Or is this hail? It's some form of solids falling from the sky. Queen of wood. Alright everyone, look at this. We have a massive, neatly processed wood pile. Victoria here, the queen of wood, has helped the king of wood. And now we have heaps of wood. You know, it's kind of snowing, it's freezing cold. We haven't eaten much. We're gonna have a cup of tea now, relax for a bit. I'll get my beers chilling in the snow, so they're nice and cold and crisp. And then, I don't know, light the fire later on, but that was a great wood gathering mission. Alright everyone, we've got our nice cosy warm dry clothes on and we've made a nice brew of hot caramelised pear tea. Yeah, so we're all fully set up now and <laughs> it's not snowing yet but it's kind of in between snow and rain which is sleet. Kind of sleety, haily, icy rain. Yeah, so and it's really cold. <laughs> the temperature is dropping and I do think it will snow later. But the setup is working pretty good. We don't have a whole lot of room in front of us, but the whole tent is protected really nicely. Um, I got a few extra guy lines, so that's how I did my Frankenstein tarp setup. <laughs> so, you know, I'll probably get roasted in the comments. Why don't you have a ridge line? You set your tarp wrong. The rain's <laughs> gonna pull. By all you know, the retired bushcrafters, but you know, I'm the king of bushcraft now, so don't, don't even bother. <laughs> But yeah, do you have a biscuit? I do have some biscuits. We've got some digestives. I'm wrapped up. I've got my raincoat over my knees just to protect me from anything coming in. And I've been wrapping the tent fly over my shoulder just to protect me from any, any side gusts and also protect the tent, which is hopefully working quite well. But we've got some yummy digestive dark chocolate biscuits. Seeing as it's Abel's birthday, he needed his favorite. You know, I'm, I don't have enough hands right now. Do you want to take that? So we'll have these digestives. Let them digest. And then I'm probably going to retrieve my bear from the snow fridge and have some salt and vinegar chips. But we'll start with this and we'll see how the storm progresses. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm going to light the fire now and I'm not even concerned that I'm going to be able to get it going or not because I definitely will. As you can see, we got ice coming down all around but yeah I'll start with a big bed of logs and then just a bunch of fire starter and twigs should be good. Let's get some of these logs on the bottom with a bit of a gap beneath them and it allows air to get drawn in. Lone Wolf told me that. Just kidding. <laughs> Captain America. Oh that hurt my pick. 
Now I think we get some of this, and then you just let me get that in there. And then the secret ingredient is this stuff. Some people don't think it's cool to go out camping and use fire starter, but I don't give a shit. Oh no, I'm gonna have to use the stove again. All right, quite windy. I think I might need a little bit more. A lot of you guys probably don't know, but this wood in New Zealand, it's called beech wood. It's all beech. And it's just really wet and dense. There's no fat wood. I can't make little feather stick. This is the only way. So please, refrain from the abuse and enjoy the content. Coming in now. Hey! You penetrated my meatballs! My fire pit's a bit narrow, so you see the sticks aren't kind of collapsing in. So I need to get them in and build a big core of embers. It's getting pretty hot in there. We have stabilised the situation. The fire's <laughs> going, it's putting out good warmth, you can feel it. We're not super close, but it's still warming the area. And I just heard some thunder. Yeah, it was really loud rolling thunder yeah. <laughs> that came in. But I'm going to have a beer from my favorite brewer, Ubernaut, Springfield Jam Donut, Hazy IPA. <laughs> I'll try to give you a close up. I can't see if it's gonna focus or not. But look, it's got Ned Flanders on there. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you watch The Simpsons. I used to watch it when I was a kid. I haven't seen any of the new stuff. But cheers everyone. Coming on another yes. storm camp. There's more thunder. You probably won't hear it on these mics, but... Mm. Oh wow. That's unique. <laughs> oh. This is stormy conditions. My camera's rocking around. That's scaring me. Can I have a taste? Yeah, Victoria's on her second soap. <laughs> I'm trying to stay warm. And I think the fire's... Yeah. There's a big core of embers going in there. Tastes like a jam donut. That's incredible. But I've got some salt mm. and vinegar chips too. That's quite nice. Actually. So I have those. Whoa! There's some severe gusts coming in. <laughs> and we've got my favourite crisps. <laughs> the dill pickle big cup. See, look at the size of these things. It's like the size of my head. I don't think that'd fit in my mouth. <laughs> you ain't there so fast. I'm just an animal. <laughs> you know what? 
So, smash your thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I'm camping on my birthday in a thunderstorm. The bear has gone straight to my central nervous system. <laughs> I can feel it in the brain straight away. And that's not a bad thing. I'll tell you a little description on the back. A juicy tribute to that greatest of all snacks, the magnificent jam donut. Tropical fruit <laughs> aromas meet lashings of raspberry jam and a dusting of toasted coconut in this luscious, hazy IPA. Sounds good. That's a good description. It's delicious. <laughs> It literally tastes like jam and kind of like creamy. Bears these days are incredible. Wow. <laughs> Do you want to contaminate the flavor with your soup? Nah. It's <laughs> nice. This is good though. If you guys watch the channel regularly, you'll know we usually have like a tea or a coffee before we do the fire. But this time we got all the firewood and sorted all that first. So now we can just fully relax. Mm. I think it worked well. I thought it was better. Then when you put your dry clothes on, you actually stay dry. Yeah. I mean, I mean I'm fully dry and warm. I've got my Rab Zero G Gucci jacket on. <laughs> Victoria's got her ice climbing. Holy moly. That is some serious thunder. Whoa. That was so that loud. Was so loud. <laughs> oh my gosh. I feel like it's right over top of us. Wow. Oh. Anyway, we're <laughs> going to enjoy this. We'll bring you back later. I am now on to the second beer, which is a Liberty Brewing Co. Citra Double IPA. <laughs> so as the name suggests, very strong citrus notes with this one. And it's very chronic. I think it's about 9%. Mm. It Ooh, it's strong. And I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but it's so close to snowing. <laughs> I'd say it's you could call the snow at a stretch. I think as the uh, the night wears on, the temperature drops and more, this will definitely turn to snow. Which is quite cool. Mm. I think this will definitely be the last one of the season. Because we're into late September. Which is heading towards the end of spring in New Zealand. Yeah. Look, middle of spring, I should say. The wicker, I'm not sure if he's in the shot. He's got ice on him. He's coming in. <laughs> but this is quite a strong beer. Yeah, 9%. That's 3.1 standard drinks in one can. And it's so cold because it's been sitting in the snow. But what does alcohol do, Victoria? Makes you warm up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> alcohol warms you up. Makes you think you're warmer. Nah, I did a lot of research and I read some PhD papers. And the conclusion is it warms you up, but not if you have too much. <laughs> and not if you're exposed to cold. Yeah, but I have a down jacket on. I was just thinking before, it's quite amazing that all I'm wearing is one down jacket, which has 1,000 full powered goose down and about 150 grams of it. And I'm warm. Mm. I got my rain jacket on, but that just stops a bit of wind. But the insulation in this jacket's incredible. How do you feel? I'm toasty. Yeah. I'm really toasty. It's pretty awesome. Oops. I've got whiskey after this drink too. <laughs> Having a great time. Enjoying the... your birthday. Yeah. <laughs> in the comments, everyone, guess my age. <laughs> Just write a number, guess my age, and I'll respond to the people who guess it correctly. <laughs> but you've probably seen enough of my face to make an accurate assumption. So we'll see if anyone can get it right. Mm. It's wicker. I hope it's in the shot and you can see him. 
Who's this coming in? He's going to come for your chips. Whoa! -ho! Bushcraft! It is dinner time. Yes, Nothing it is. Super excited because we've got Abel's delicious meatballs. Yes, my favourite <laughs> meal of them all is meatballs. <laughs> and these happen to be venison meatballs from First Light Farms, which is the same company that does those Wagyu burgers that I seem to be eating all the time on the channel. But I've got my little flask here, the Silver Ant Titanium, nice and glittery. Oh look, it's snowing. Flask? Yeah, it is. The snow has come. Temperature has plummeted. The water that has been falling from the sky is now falling as frozen water, known as snow. <laughs> and I'm having a whiskey and it feels it feels amazing. The fire is absolutely roaring. So much heat. And this is the perfect scenario. I can just see it now, it's accumulating. It's about a, uh, seven o'clock, 7 p.m. I think it might even be 7.30. I've just been relaxing and enjoying being out in nature. Yeah, so it's always fun. What we're going to do, I think, is we'll cook the meatballs first. We brought the what's that? The GSI pan. This is the ultimate backpacking cooking pan. It weighs a bit more, but we've decided, even though the pan we used last week was really light and convenient to bring, this one just cooks everything so much better. So. For certain meals, it's better. But if I was doing like onions, sausages, rice, I could do it in the titanium. But yeah. if you want like non-stick and heat distribution, if you're cooking like 12 juicy, succulent, dripping meatballs, you want them in a pan like this. So we're gonna get those in there. And once they're cooked, we'll put them aside. Then we'll boil the water. We've got our big, <laughs> big Primus pot. And we brought the Primus Gravity 2 stove as well, so that's got a really wide flame distribution. So, unlike the Blade 2 Fire Maple, which we have been using, it's a really lightweight, powerful stove. This one is more powerful, it's like twice the weight, but the, the burning ring is very wide, so it heats it's the great bottom. For cooking. Yeah. It's snowing. It's not even winter anymore. Okay, dinner is ready and the snow is falling. Victoria has cooked us the most amazing meal. It's my birthday treat. It's, it's not spaghetti, it's penne. <laughs> penne and meatballs with, what is it called? It's a tomato sauce, it has a name. Naples. It must be something to do with Italy. <laughs> but I suppose we just it slop it onto our plates and then we're gonna douse it in palms and cheese. It's gonna be Quite the experience. I'm just getting my fancy cutlery sorted. Yeah, we got the nice. Wow. These are, what That's are these? That's heavy. Tokes. Tokes from the gear shop. Yep. The a really nice fork and knife. <laughs> knife and fork. They have polished tips like me, and they <laughs> allow you to like suck on the end of the cutlery, and it's not coarse on your lips. <laughs> that sounded really weird. <laughs> Very strange. <laughs> ah, it's just going all over. Okay, I'll just stop talking. Do you want some? Yeah, I think you've got all the meatballs. <laughs> no, nah, I'll give you some. There's 12. No, right. I think there's 12. <laughs> it's alright, Lily. I'll serve you up. Bring it close. We cannot forget the parmesan cheese. Hold on. That's an absolutely crucial element of this dish. Let's get the lid on the the rest of the 
the pasta down there. And now I'm going to do a sprinkle. I can smell it instantly. I grated this at home. There's so much. When you're at a, when you're at an Italian restaurant and the chef or the the server or whatever is like, let me know when you want me to stop grating parmesan cheese. You and just you just, you just sit, sit there, there and like wait. this. <laughs> you just sit there and look at the screen. It's like having an aneurysm. <laughs> You want more? <laughs> you have an aneurysm. <laughs> okay. Leave some for the rest of it. Bone petite. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> stop it. You stop it. Oh my goodness. I'm in netball heaven. <laughs> Actually, it smells. What do you reckon? It smells like we're in an Italian restaurant. We <laughs> are. I would describe this as unethical. It's unethically delicious for these conditions. Mm. This is this is the best meal I've ever had camping. Mm. Yummy. And I feel sophisticated eating with the polished tip toast titanium cutlery. <laughs> it is nice having proper cutlery when you're out camping. Yeah, and only right, uh, it weighs like 10 grams. <laughs> and it's snowing. I also like that it's got that little carabiner that keeps it all together so it doesn't go missing in your pack. Yeah. Look, there's wickers everywhere. I'm surrounded by wickers. <laughs> it's snowing. Had all my drinks, the fire's roaring, Victoria's here, the parmesan is overflowing. Overflowing. <laughs> overflowing a lot. It's like a fountain of parmesan. Mm. Okay. I just spilled tea all over myself. Yeah. Good thing. Wow. Oh my goodness. The storm is coming I in. Take that down. I have to take my light down. The storm is coming back with a renewed ferocity. We come out camping in the storm. We get the storm. And we did we survived it and defied it in style. And right now, I don't know what's falling from the sky. I can't see anything because there's bright light shining in my face. But it sounds like ice hitting the tarp. And hopefully we wake up to a winter wonderland. I hope so. Well, it's just been a combination of wind, rain, sleet, snow. Pretty much the whole time. Hail. <laughs> of everything. i double dunk it. Look, you want some pre-dunk? But I think we'll just enjoy these, chill out, have our tea and chocolate. I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Birthday treats. <laughs> I'm just like a big baby. <laughs> we'll come back to you for the tent tour. in the tent and it started to snow which is quite cool but the winds aren't savagely hitting us which is very nice so I'll get changed get into the tent temperatures absolutely plummeted it's very cold but we're all tidy we'll come back to the tent tour okay. 
Look at these lights in here. Cozy. Very, very cozy. Wow. The white stuff on my birthday. It's like Christmas. Mm, delicious. I'm not going to take the tarp down. And if it snaps, I don't care. Wow. It's going to snap. Hey everyone, so we are now in the tent in our big green sleeping bags. Yes, the green slugs. And it's so cozy. We're on the big Agnes Rapide tent floor, so the entire floor of the tent is a big pad. <laughs> and these sleeping bags, they're oversized and they zip together. So you can see here, that's the zip all the way down. Sorry for the shaking, but they connect. That's the pad. If you zip this back, hold it. Don't worry, look. You can see, it's like one big thing that we're on. So, it's very comfortable. I also have my Nemo fellow elite, so. <laughs> it's like, it's kind of like sleeping at home. This is the best, like most comfortable sleep system that I have, I reckon. You reckon? It's not the warmest and the lightest, but it, it's comfortable. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, so... If I reckon got... every piece of gear, no matter whether it's, you know, something amazing and expensive or something a little bit cheaper, they all have their purpose, really. Yeah, I mean, we got way more high-tech stuff in these bags, but we still use them every now and then. Mm, they're cosy. We've also got the big Agnes fairy lights, you can see up here. And the snow's falling, so it's been a fantastic night. Dinner was amazing, the beers were delicious. Yeah, it was so good. The weather was crazy, but that's why we come out. Storm chasing. Yeah, I think we'll have a great sleep tonight. Hopefully, anyway. But I think that's enough from us. We'll probably just cruise off to sleep, and unless the tarp collapses on us, which, you know, it could do. <laughs> I haven't lowered it. It's, like, flat above the tent. We'll come back to you tomorrow, I suppose. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah, good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Good morning, we have awoken to winter wonderland status. Mm -hmm. It's not 100% full on snow dump, but there's a pretty good dusting and I'll count this as another successful trip out. But it's very cold, there's winds gushing through the campsite and everything's got a nice little coating of icing sugar. So I'm not gonna get up right now. Obviously I'm gonna have a coffee in bed and then we'll have to get up and assess the surrounds. Maybe light the fire for a tea and biscuit, but We'll see about that. We have to get a brew on at all costs. But do you know what I really feel like? More of those meatballs. Unfortunately, I'll have to wait for another trip out to experience that again. The sun's coming through the trees, right into the tent. How nice. Perfect morning for camping, apart from that cold breeze. Victoria, where are you? Victoria is still rugged up in the big bags. These are quite, these are good. They're quite heavy to carry, but had a pretty good sleep in them. So I think it's worth it for an overnight, you're just aiming to not die and be comfortable. Quite a bit of snow on the tarp. I have to get up and hit it all off later. Victoria's up. Victoria. Yeah. Say hello.
Oh my goodness, it's all, f the water has frozen and it's solid ice on the carabiners. Look at this. It's all encrusted. Solid ice. Oh no. Solid. fire. There's still heat in here. Oh, it's still hot as. So much embers. I could get that going easy. It's still really hot. There's so much heat left in this fire from all those embers encased in my big pyramid structure around it. I could probably just get a quick little fire going this morning. Okay. Well, that was rather spectacular. Got the fire going from the little embers that were left from the the roaring the roaring fire from last night. And this is just the most magical morning. Came up for the dump and got it again. <laughs> and a nice little fire. The wind's kind of died down too, it's spectacular. I think a cup of tea. Sounds good to me. We'll get the kettle on and we'll have a big cup of tea and some biscuits for breakfast, I think. <laughs> but I don't really want to rush home from the spot. I'm really enjoying looking at the sparkling, glittering sunlight on the snow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get the camera and I'll try to get a shot, but you can just see like all this light reflecting. <laughs> it's amazing. Digestives. You dunk them in <laughs> and it melts the top layer of chocolate and softens the wheaty biscuit. Mmm. It's a delicacy. The snow is going to melt pretty fast. You can already see it dripping off the beech leaves. But the breeze is very, very cold. I'll take that, swap you. Go for the dunk. 
Victoria looks real cool. Mm. She's got her glasses on. Well, the sun's coming in. <laughs> the fire's smoking. It's real bright in my eyes. I'd rate this camp uh, 8.5 out of 10. What could make it better? Uh, I don't know. Actually, it was pretty phenomenal. I'm not sure what the footage will be like. I probably had a little bit too much to drink. I probably lost the plot a bit, but... <laughs> You're be allowed fun. to on your birthday. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the walk out. I'm going to film quite a bit of it and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Because mm. the landscape just looks amazing when it's covered in snow. So I'll get some good footage of that. But we'll just probably have these biscuits, this big cup of tea, and just enjoy probably the last experience of snow for this year. Mm. There might be another little dusting at some point, but I don't think it would be any more than this. No, we'll be going into summer soon here. Yeah. We're heading out now, and as we're walking, the snow started falling again. It's like big soft flakes coming down now. I don't think there's gonna be much, but it's quite magical. So we've gotta carry on walking down and um, just enjoy being out in the winter wonderland. But it was an amazing camp. How'd you find it, Victoria? I loved it, it was so pretty. It was so fun celebrating your birthday in the snow. What was the highlight of the experience? Those meatballs were delicious. <laughs> yeah, the meatballs <laughs> were something so special. so good. Look at this, it's amazing, the snow's falling. How special, eh? Anyway guys, we carry on walking down, we'll come back to you a bit further down, but I'll show you some of this beautiful snow falling down. Just incredible walking through here. The snow's coming in real good. And the temperatures just dropped dramatically. We're inside like a snow cloud. This is incredible. <laughs> kind of elevates the walk out. It's so pretty. Wow. Kind of could have camped out a whole other day. That would have been pretty nice. I don't think there's going to be much though. But man, it's definitely dropped in temperature. Really happy I've got my puffy jacket on. It's so cold. <laughs> yeah, Victoria is fully dressed. I've only got this little vest on under my thermal. <laughs> it's coming in. We're down in the trees now, and you can see all the snow, it's just melting. It's dripping off. It's yeah. Pretty. Oh, hello. <laughs> but all the light is just glistening through here. That little dark cloud of snow came through, it was pretty fun. But everything's cleared up again. But well, I think we'll have another hour or so walk, and we'll be back at the car. We'll come back to you then, but... We'll try not to slip over on the way down. Yeah, <laughs> man, walk out is a bit of a highlight, it's unusual. Nearly 
way back to the car. We made it. Well, that's us back down at the car. An amazing trip. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Am I gonna open? Open the boot. There we go. But yeah, thanks everyone for coming along and again, special thanks to the channel members, everyone who comments, likes, subscribes, and the super thanks as well. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming along on our journeys. We always have lots of fun and it's great to share it with you guys. Yeah, and we'll be back for another trip as we always are probably soon. But until then, you can watch some of our older videos if you feel like it, or we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, everyone.